I'm going to uh, show you all today a little bit about sampling and how to, um, you know, load up a song and try and get the right cut and see if you can't make a cool sample out of an old song. So, okay. So, we start at the menu screen. Um, I've already got Cubase pulled open here. I use Cubase SX3. Um, what you'll do is, I've actually already loaded the song in. You'll just find a song, uh, you know, anywhere in any of your music files, and uh, you'll just import it as an audio file. Now, once you get that, um, you want to grab the bottom. You can stretch it out, uh, get a better view of it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to trim the fat. Okay, so you take this here, put make sure it's on quantitize. I usually like to use uh, the 164th triplet, but it, that makes it really uh, specific. So um, you don't have to do that. So you trim the fat, right? Now you can, uh, we'll see how it starts. Okay. All right, so now right here where this is, this is pretty much your loop right here. So you want to um, go to here. You want to change it from a uh, the track tempo to a fixed tempo. And then you can actually use your arrow key and scroll down. Um, maybe until you get something that looks like it's about a four bar loop. So you hit enter in there. It looks like this thing's about 99. So I'll set the loop button. Um, set my loop to four bars. And see what we get. All right. So I stretched it out. It looks about right. But if you want to make it even more specific, if you look here, it's not just 99 beats per minute. It's more like 99.1 maybe. Okay. So you try that one, and that actually is not it. So maybe let's go 98.8 beats per minute. Okay. So that looks about right. <clears throat> Okay, so now we've got our loop going. Let's just add a, uh, uh, you go to import audio, check your files here, try and figure out where your sounds are, this different, I'm not sure, whatever sounds you have. Um, and then you, uh, you just kind of pick something. Let's start with a, uh, um, let's start with a snare maybe. Okay. Like maybe a hard clap. Let's change the, the dynamic of it, right? Okay. All right, so that's pretty uh, pretty hard clap. So we import this in here. Then you want to uh, zoom in, take this snare here, Let's try and put it on the, you know, on the three. Sometimes they'll go on the two and the four, and sometimes, depending on the, uh, how fast the track is, you can hit Control D. That will, uh, duplicate your clap here. And so we'll duplicate it for four bars, and let's see what we get. Okay, so now we've got a clap in there. Let's try and uh, let's get a kick, you know, some kind of a kick. Try and get a hard hit one.
Okay, so that seems fairly decent enough. We can go back and put an 808 in there later. Um, then you want to set it to its own channel. So now we've got the kick on one channel, and now you've got the snare on the other, and the guitar sample um, on the first track. So I'm hitting Control D here. I'm going to go ahead and um, get a kick on the one here and see what it sounds like. Okay, so you sometimes you get stuff in there that you don't like, and uh, just get rid of it. Okay, so let's import a uh, some type of a hi hat. Okay, so you find your hi hat. Now you want to add it to its own channel again. Just drag it down; it'll go right to it. <clears throat> okay, so I want to do some duplications here. You don't want the hi hat to be too fast, you know. You don't want it to be too slow either. Um, you know. Okay, so let's just see. Just try and get an idea here. for the time being. Okay, so the hi hat's really high. So we'll go to our channel. Now, what I like to do is once I kind of get an idea here, I like to go in um, under my main output and uh, kind of reverb the whole track. Maybe it's kind of a spill, Phil Spector thing. Uh, the wall of sound, right? So, anyway, you make it a little, you know, uh, not too wet, but a little wet. Okay. Okay. 